welcome back to Finish It Friday. We are already to Friday? How could that be? I had so much planned this week and so little got done. But I was working the whole time, so I guess a lot got done. I just can't really see it for myself. Uh, spent a lot of time on uh, this little project right here. I don't even think you can see what I worked on. But uh, I was showing you in the uh, Kaleidoscope series how to put those ends on uh, the two different types of rows that are in that quilt. So if you haven't seen that series, uh, go back and watch it. The videos, most of them are pretty short. If you're just curious about how this came to be. And then over there in that series, I promised that I would show a finished uh, quilt here on Finish It Friday. So I've got to keep on trucking on that. And so I've been doing that. Had a little... Um, a little bit of challenge with those, trying to get those half um, half triangles and full triangles and turn them in such a way that you came out with, with the straight ends. So I um, got that figured out and showed you how to do it. And then I also got block number three or the March block of the Soya Friends Box uh, block of the month. I guess you'd call it a mystery block of the month. Uh, that they have with their boxes this year and I put the other two January and February here so you could see them kind of turned them on point for for fun and uh, I don't know how that if that's how they'll be set or not I doubt it that'd be cool though wouldn't it hmm. anyway that's all I got done this week believe it or not except ta-da I got my vertical sashing done and these four rows put together on the red and white quilt. So I have very little left to do on this as far as the top goes. Just do uh, another few horizontal bars across there and some borders. And I have my um, backing ordered for it. It's going to be a red toile. If it looks good, if it gets here and it looks right with this, I will use red toile for the back. And uh, pretty soon we'll be quilting her up. So it's coming along, coming along. And we are getting close to the end of the first quarter of March. So I need to have another little little planning chat with, with everyone to see where I am on my projects and goals. And um, you can take that time to examine for yourself where, where you are and where you're headed. And I need to definitely get some more projects in the queue for the next quarter. So we'll be talking about that on Monday, I would say. Um, let's go ahead and get into what was sent in this week. I have a few things to share with you. Thank goodness for you all who are keeping busy on your uh, projects. I have another one from Carol, hand-dyed Carol, <laughs> and uh, this is a uh, pineapple themed quilt. You see the big pineapple, pieced pineapple there in the center, and there's a saying on the lower uh, row there that says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. <laughs> I love that. I love that saying. And of course we love your juicy fabrics. And it looks like this particular one is for someone. Let's see what she says about it. She says, my granddaughter Tori wanted a pineapple quilt for her queen size bed. She wanted pineapples, and she got pineapples. Yes, she did. The fabrics were all my sun-dyed fabrics. Most of the blocks were embroidered on my embroidery machine, except for the giant pineapple in the middle and the melon blocks. I also embroidered her name in the pina colada blocks. I noticed that. I did not use a pattern. I just started with the giant pineapple in the middle and went from there. I quilted it with a palm design and an all-over swirl on my sit-down long arm machine. You're just burning up that uh, sit-down long arm machine. Good for you. I loved making this quilt knowing it was for someone I love. That is what quilting is all about. Yes, it is. 
beautiful job. Tori will love it if she doesn't already have it. I have something from Jane. And I want to read what uh, she says about this first as it goes across the screen there for you. My latest finish is influenced by the vivid colors of the flowers on trees and shrubs I've seen here in Australia. It's a small throw slash lap quilt, 45 by 47 inches, and I copied a design of half square triangles I found on Pinterest. I like the asymmetry of it. It was good practice for me, and although there are lots of points that don't line up, it is an improvement. I backed it with Minky, a first for me, and to say it was all stitched on a very simple basic machine, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a splash of color on a gray sofa. Yes, that is a very nice uh, splash of color. And I like how you thought of your, you know, nature in your area, flowers that you've seen uh, and included that. And uh, good for you for uh, striking out and trying that minky. It's not as bad as everybody says. And you did a great job. She did that on her plain old sewing machine, all of that. So great job. I like that asymmetry too. Um, yeah, great pattern, great, great idea. Lovely. I have one from Deb. It's a wall hanging. And there's another one there that is a uh, Oh My Stars. She says, sunflower wall hanging is quilted with bees and sunflower design. Stars quilting included in the Oh My Stars lap quilt. Enjoy watching your videos during the week while on my treadmill. Hope you will show us your sewing area sometime. I will, I will. You know, I got it all cleaned up and organized in here. And ever since then, I've had projects out everywhere so I keep thinking I'm, I've got to do that one of these days and uh, just take a tour so maybe really maybe I'll include that on Monday too just take a tour of the room here and and let you see <laughs> uh, I mean you see this side of it and you see the other side of it but you don't see the in-between so one of these one of these days but I love your big big uh, sunflowers there on the panel and then the Oh My Stars uh, quilt there, that's uh, Pat Sloan's pattern. And I heard her say this week that uh, a reminder was to make your stars more of a solid or, a, you know, a tone on tone at the most so that your stars stick out. And that's what uh, Deb has done here. She did her stars in a dark. And, of course, they pop off of her other colors that are in the quilt there. So good job. And then Dolores sent uh, something. She sent me something, but do I have it here? Let's see. Yes, I do have it here on the email. For a second, I thought I didn't have it on the email. Uh, she collabor I collaborated. She collaborated with me a little bit on this. Uh, she was putting some strips together. This is this blue and cream here. And this is a uh, like freshwater fish themed quilt for a man. Uh, she was asking me what she should do uh, on, on it. And uh, we came to the conclusion that those uh, long borders and her uh, striped configuration would make a great guy quilt. It's a little bit of a sad story because uh, her friend that she's she's making this for, uh, he's getting ready to go through cancer treatments, and um, he loves fishing, so she thought she would make him a uh, fishing quilt, fishing themed quilt. And I also know that she made a uh, port pillow and a another uh, triangulo triangul triangulo pillow. Like, like for your neck, a neck pillow in this fabric as well, or something that went with it at least. And so he's going to love that if he doesn't have it already. And uh, I think it turned out great. I love it. You wouldn't think you could take fish fabric and make a beautiful quilt out of it, but you sure can. 
There's another one from, uh, I believe this is Sarah. She says, I finished a few handbags. I purchased the patterns and the wire frames from Soya, but the Emmeline bags has a free tutorial on the retreat bag. Uh, so very easy, can walk. That's a channel or, I don't know, can walk anyone through it. I hope my handbags count. Love all your videos. Of course they count. A bag definitely counts. Says my first two as I call them pancakes because you always throw the first pancakes away. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? But no, these these are not these are not throwaways. These are really good. You did a great job on those bags. They're quite for me, those are quite complicated. I don't do a lot of bags, especially structured bags like that. But I love the uh, patterns that you, um, the fabric that you've chosen is, is very cute. And these are great bags. They just are, Sarah. You did a great job. Okay, I think that's all I have. Uh, one reminder would be is if you send me something in email, or not email, if you send me something or put something on the Facebook group that you want included on the Finish It Friday, send it to me in an email also. Yes, I'll see it on the Facebook group, but it's just easier for our editing purposes if we can have all of them in one spot to start with instead of having to go, go find them and gather them together. So yes, put them on the Facebook group and if you want them on, on this show, then uh, send me an email as well of those very same pictures. And they will get on here and we'll all be able to enjoy them. Everyone tells me all the time in the comments. If you go back and read the comments after these videos and you've had uh, a submission shown on here, um, you'll see that everyone really loves everyone's work and loves to see uh, what everybody else is doing and, and their creativity and uh, what they've got going on in their sewing room. So that's why we like to share. It's always good to to share our creations with others and encourage them to, to try it as well. So that looks to be all for Finish It Friday. I'm going to keep working on this. And um, my friend Julie sent me some, uh, the last little fat quarter slipped in there just in time to be the cornerstones. So we're going to get those in uh, under the, these white uh, vertical pieces and in between there and get the horizontal pieces constructed and added. And I'm, I'm just really excited that, that this is finally, <laughs> it's finally happening. And I've really enjoyed this pattern. It's, it's quite intricate, not hard, just nine patches and snowballs, but it makes a great looking quilt. Don't you think? All right. We'll see more of that next week, probably when I have it all put together. Okay. That's it. Have a great weekend. Um, I need one of y'all to start me a GoFundMe for some lighting because the sun hasn't shown for a couple days. <laughs> and as I make this video, I feel like I'm in the dark. So, no, I'm just kidding about that. I, I, it's the sun. It's the lack of sun. It's not, it's not that I need lighting. Well, I probably do need some, some better lighting, but neither here nor there. <laughs> All right, so get busy and get your sewing stuff out this weekend and finish something up or start something or get something out you haven't worked on in a while and give it a good 15 or 20 minutes and before long you'll you'll just be in a a mad mood to sew and it's so good for your uh your mental health so thank you so much thank you for your submissions this week and i will see you guys on quilt chat monday all right bye